project uh, i'm going to show you how to mock the intel uh, real sense technology which is basically a 3d uh, technology with a 3d camera that can segment the user uh, from the background now i'm going to just about mock a uh, few of the functionalities provided with the sdk uh, with uh, po2d camera it's uh, it can be a poor man's uh, uh, you know gesture driven interface so what we do is we first uh, start the camera and the user should not be present in the scene at the beginning so that it can model the background <coughs> once it map models the background when user comes in it subtracts the background uh, from the user image and you can pretty much see that uh, the image over here this is the segmented image this is the actual frame and this is the segmented frame so it can uh, literally uh, you know nicely it can uh, segment the user uh, uh, part without any specialized 3d camera nicely you can see the gap between my fingers and moving it uh, in front of the face also it, it, it keeps a nice little uh, segmented view so you can augment this picture over here to uh, you know any of the artificial images and this is actually the background segmented image which I have thresholded and after thresholding I pretty much cleaned it off. Now what it does is it also uh, gives you face detection facilities uh, in the real time so uh, here I have made certain uh, changes in the uh, face detection what I am doing is um, rather than relying on detecting face on any grayscale or the whole version of the color image and just trying to detect the face from the segmented image now as the background is literally uh, not present the uh, accuracy of the face detection is quite fast over here so this is one of the things and then now of course uh, this provides gesture driven uh, interface so uh, i'm using an eigen object uh, recognition uh, to recognize the gestures so for that what we'll do is we'll first uh, move out of the scene so that uh, and uh, i'll try to uh, emulate certain gestures something like a hand open so what i'll try to do is i'll try to emulate certain gestures now uh, as you can see that when in the 3d segmentation mode you know uh, it's just about uh, segments out everything now we can have a gesture mode as i'll be showing you now where the cutoff will be uh, limited now so because this is uh, not exactly a 3d camera you know if you sit in front of the system and try to give the gesture the gesture will not uh, work nicely so the user has to pretty much sit in the side and to show the gesture so for uh, the system to be able to recognize your gesture all you have to do is uh, first uh, train the system with certain gestures uh, say let me give it uh, up you need to train few couple of instances of the same gesture uh, for the training model to acquire sufficient enough data about the gesture so let us train it say up and let us say spread fingers so let us give a train call spread finger and I want to recognize a uh, couple of uh, I want to first train couple of uh, gestures of the same so let us say the same thing uh, spread fingers and once you enable the uh, gesture recognizer uh, you basically have several uh, options so you don't have to really worry about the number of gesture that you are going to take say for instance I'll train it as uh, left and so on so once you have trained these gestures uh, once you enable the recognition engine now whatever gesture you give it's a misdetection this is actually this gesture you can see spread fingers up So because it's not really been able to 
detect the spread fingers let us uh, uh, give uh, certain more training about the spread finger you know at this stage the image detection is appearing so let us also uh, put this as spread fingers uh, it can retrain the uh, recognition engine at any given instance of time so once you have uh, uh, given some new symbol uh, as you can see now uh, the accuracy is improved with showing spread fingers and this is showing up you know in all directions and when we are showing left it's detecting left up spread fingers so in this way you can detect the uh, gestures you can anytime work with your faces so i'm uh, planning to have uh, more or less so because it's in gesture enable mode you can see the uh, breaking up of the actual segmentation a bit more because i want to eliminate the noise uh, in the gesture recognition mode so once you can give your face cut out you can also have your eye detection from this particular image and it's purely using mgo cd i hope you enjoyed this video and the idea of mocking the 3d technology with a pure tv camera thanks for watching thank you